M7 Metal Works are in the shop today. I'm going to try to tackle a, um, a bit of a problem I've had with my um, Kubota tractor. Technically, it's not the tractor. It's the finish mower that I have behind the tractor. Um, it's a Land Pride, which is owned by Kubota. And it is an FDR 1672 finish mower. Six-foot mower. But I got these... Um, solid rubber tires and I'll bring in for a closer look but um, I'm just I'm losing big chunks of rubber off of these tires um, they're a solid rubber tire and so I went ahead and um, talked to my dealer about it and he sent me a set of new um, wheels um, for all four corners of the mower but um, I'm not even a hundred percent sure they're going to be covered by warranty um, you know, if you read the warranties uh, on these, it'll say that the tires are a wear item and they're not covered by warranty. The problem is, is I had probably in the neighborhood of 25 to 30 hours on this tractor when I noticed these big massive chunks coming off of these wheels. So um, let me rephrase that. I didn't have 25 to 30 hours on the tractor. I had about 50 hours on the tractor, but I had about 25 to 30 hours on the, with the mower in use. And um, you know, I just mow my, my yard. I'm not doing residential mowing or, or anything difficult. It's, we're talking about grass here. And um, so anyways, I'll, let me take you in and let you look at this. So I'm gonna see if I can reprofile these. That's, I got new tires. I'll show you those right now. So my dealer guys, he sent me these new wheels and as of right now I haven't been charged for them. He submitted the warranty claim, the warranty request um, for these. And so my hope is that Kubota will do the right thing and that they'll warranty these and, and give these to me for free. Though there's no guarantee these are going to be any better. It's all made in China if you read the if you read on these, it'll say made in China. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know if it's going to be any better. The rubber on the old tires definitely looks brittle. It looks like it was a very poor mix of rubber um, because very, very brittle. And so that's uh, certainly contributed to it chipping off. But I've got four of these. Let me show you the, um, let me show you the tires on this. See if I can get you in here okay so I've, I've washed them um, so that I could profile these just a little bit better but try to give you a, kind of the thing you can see big chunks of tires out of here now keeping in mind right now I only have about 67 hours on the tractor and still probably only have another maybe 35 on these so think about that for a minute how bad of condition these wheels are in wow they're in bad shape and all four tires look similar to this so here's the plan guys we're going to take these wheels off the old wheels and i'm going to profile these so i've got a bandsaw a wood cutting bandsaw and what i'm going to do is essentially profile these edges of the tires so they're not hooking or catching on the um, ground as they make turns. Let me show you on the chalkboard. I think you'll get a better idea of what I'm looking to do. If you think about the tires, the profile of them is pretty square. So here's your <coughs> axle on that tire in the center, obviously. So what I, what my plan to do on the bandsaw is to just kind of chamfer these edges and essentially eliminate these corners, these hard corners, so that when I change directions with this mower, that it wants to center itself just a little bit better. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I think it's a pretty simple thing. It takes a little bit of time, obviously. And I don't know that these 
rubber wheels are solid all the way through. They're solid rubber tires, but that doesn't mean anything. A lot of times they can still be hollow um, deeper within the rubber. So I have to be careful. I can't take off too much. So we're going to do that now. So first thing first, let's get the, um, let's get the wheels off. So I'm just using a ratchet. It's a 19 millimeter um, nut. So I'll use the impact and a ratchet. Simple as that. So there's our wheel. <clears throat> we'll do that with all four of them and uh, we'll profile these. Guys, I'm going to try to get you in here kind of close. I try to grab the axle here as I cut, and then I find a, a point on the wheel, kind of on the side tread of it, where I want my blade to kind of ride, and then I do my best to get it to ride. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but I'm trying to get it as close as I can to perfect. So obviously, I need to be able to cut out the part that's chipped out. So. Take your time when you're doing it. Oh, I hope you can see that pretty well. Now let's get the other side. You can see what I've taken off. As far as the amount of rubber, it's fairly significant. I'm going to start on the big chunk here where it's already taken out. Again, smooth is fast here. You don't want to go by going too fast. It's nice and smooth. Obviously your angles are going to change a little bit as you go through it. You just do your best to stay about the same. Okay, so now let's compare the two. So here's the one I just profiled. And here's the new. So I'm going to hold off on putting these new ones on here. So I didn't want to profile these. I'm, get, I'm squatting down because I want to stay within the picture frame, but I didn't want to profile these, obviously, guys, until I had um, you know, new, new wheels brought in. Um, by profiling these, they weren't going to warranty and if I modified these in any way. So I, I've taken pictures of the um, tires prior to profiling them, and I've sent those to the dealer. So he's got, I think, everything he needs. Um, and he's already submitted my warranty claim. We'll see if they, um, if they uh, back that or not. But either way, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these back on the tractor. My hope is that as these ride, now they'll, with the, them being profiled a little thinner toward the center, they'll, instead of trying to basically plow the dirt and the grass as I'm mowing when I make a, a turn, that as I change directions, being a little more center, that they'll track just a little bit better. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, um, so you see pretty massive dis uh, difference here. Let me just kind of give you. So the difference is, is now this patch rides on the ground versus this patch. So quite a bit of difference, and it does vary some because I can't be perfect on that bandsaw. I suppose if you created a jig, you could be, but uh, I really don't think it's that critical that I be um, super precise. Um, obviously now the weight of the mower is on less surface area, 
And so you're going to probably get a little bit of difference in it flattening your grasp, but really I think that's pretty insignificant. Um, particularly if they don't last, it doesn't really do me any good. Um, these weren't going to make it. These, the, these current tires weren't going to make it 100 hours. So, <clears throat> All right, let's put them on the tractor and let's see how it um, performs. This is after about two and a half, maybe three hours of um, mowing. And so I don't see any further damage, though it's still a bit early to fully be able to gauge how well this will work. But it seems to be doing quite a bit better and it tracks, definitely tracks a lot better. Um, when I'm backing up, I don't get um, a lot of shimmying. Um, I still get some but I don't get a ton. In the past, when I would change directions, sometimes the, the wheel, instead of realigning, it would actually stay sideways and just become a plow, basically, and just rip the grass and the dirt up, um, which obviously contributed to the gouging of the rubber on the sides, so it wasn't tracking very well at all. Um, doing this, it actually tracks far better. It's way easier when I'm backing up and I'm mowing. Um, it really tracks much nicer. So, um, pretty pleased with that. It's not perfect. Uh, if I do the brand new ones, I'll obviously be a little more careful with them and try to make them just a little bit neater and cleaner. And I could have put it on, on the belt sander and even done a more refined job, but I'm not interested in that. So anyways, I hope this helped you guys if you've got the same issue and maybe your tires are just um, quite a bit older and there is no chance of a warranty. Okay guys, um, speaking on the topic of warranty, so I told you at the beginning of this video that I wasn't even sure if my warranty was going, if it was going to cover these tires. Well, I just received word today, um, got an email from my dealership. Uh, he did inform me that the that Kubota did honor the warranty on this, or I, I shouldn't even say honor it because they're really, they state there is no warranty because it's a wear item, but I suspect because of the extremely low hours on the tires, they they, I think they realized indeed they must have had some brittle rubber on those. So I don't know if this is something that uh, a lot of you are experiencing with your Kubota solid rubber tires. But if you are, this um, is definitely a viable um, option. Um, cut that chunked out rubber, the stuff that's coming off on those sides, kind of taper that a little bit. And it definitely is going to track better. Um, and I think it'll wear better. I don't think I'm going to have near the issue. For one, I don't get near the... The, the shimmy or the vibration of those wheels as they're going and moving that seems to, seems to track much better. So anyways, I hope this helps you guys. I'm Chris with M7 Metalwork. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one, God willing.